There are so many threats in modern that you couldn't even fit them all in a hooker's worn out hoo-ha. We are essentially in the midst of a circle jerk event. We can try and stop the one ring, but what if we play burn? Then it'll bring in life game, but what if we play against combo? We can stop those too, but what about artifact decks and graver decks? In other words, no matter what direction we turn, something can still come at us from behind in more ways than one. But is there a hoo-ha out there big enough to fit all the answers? God willing, we'll answer that very question. Starting with Rush of Birth. For two mana, we choose a creature. When that creature goes to Jesus, we put a creature into play from our deck. With less mana value. In other words, if we evoke Solitude, we can grab any creature in our deck, like Grief for Hand Disruption, or Shieldred. Fantastic against the ring. And before we say Rush of Birth would never work, a deck recently 5-0'd with it. Thanks to big boy Soy NBA Gallade, being able to dig for the perfect answer is very powerful. Like Gaddock Teague, which takes the fattest dump on four color decks, shutting off White Land Binding, Prismatic Ending, and even the One Ring. But the kinkiness doesn't end there. We can even find Jesus Christ himself. Nuts out insect tokens, stacks us our creatures, and if we have a lot of creatures in graveyard, we can even finish off our opponent. Then there's Orcus Blowmasters, Things on Enters, and when opponent draws, while also making a token. There's also Artifact Hate, Corona Hate, the new Nissa to McMana, and Finder Elementals, as well as Thalia and Gatrog. A bit bizarre, but if we can cheat it in on turn two, it really messes up our opponent's lands. Then there's Discard, and Blink, and now for Cyborg. We have Cascade Hate, Red Hate, Discard Hate, Board Wipe for Weenie Hate, Targeting Hate, more Graveyard Hate, more Gattic Teague, and more Artifact Hate. So that is a deck. And now it is time to see if this creature is big enough to take on the modern metagame. But first, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to follow that subscribe button, because more videos are on the way. And now off we go. Opening hand, ho ho. We have the grief combo. We'll have to pitch bow masters, but that's fine. A grief. And a shock moth. There's a lot of ways that can clap us. We'll definitely grab Hierarch. And Jesus Christ. We find Halfling. A Ferrant comes back. And we'll take the dog. Nissa, not bad. A bone passes. And Rush for Birth will take it. Flip for three. And we'll pass. A bone plays Triangle Geist. And they pass. Oh, ho, ho, what is this? Solitude. We'll suspiciously swing. Oh, they don't block. That's okay. We'll evoke Solitude anyway. No single root for you. And what? The pass cord? Finding Dryad Arbor, whatever shall we do? And now Rebirth. Finding Shieldred. <laughs> and opponent draws even more. Happy birthday to us. Wall of Toots for them. Land for us. Play Skyclave. Pick out their Halfling. And swing for net load. Opponent says big Hawks blocks. But then they concede. Going against Seals from those for too. Opening hand, we almost have the combo. We're just missing one more black card in hand, but we'll keep. Opponent plays Young Wolf. Darn land. We'll have to pass. Opponent plays two mana dorks and hits us for two. Ooh, and that's good. It's almost worth just hard casting it, but the grief combo's too good. Take their cord and their geist, and now they must pray to Christ. They swing for two, sure. We'll pass on ephemerate, and this be kind of tough. There's Naughty Nissa, Endurance, and Sky Clay, but we don't know what's in their hand. I think the safest option will swing. Opponent takes it like my sister, and this feels a little underwhelming. We'll play Sky Clave and exile their wolf. And what? They swing? We'll take two, sure. Ooh, that could be good. We'll first play Naughty Nissa, and a land. We'll swing. Oh, they have endurance. I suppose they want to block. Indeed. We'll fetch. Triggering both of Nissa's abilities. Making mana and oh. Solitude. I was going to use Rebirth here to get a Bowmasters or something. But saving it for Solitude might be the best play. Nah, Rebirth is too cool here. Rebirth on Skyclave. They get their token. And we get Bowmasters. Our opponent must be feeling pretty pregnant here. Oh, and opponent draws. Triggering Bowmasters. Opponent passes. But unfortunately for them, land. Fetching and triggering Nissa. Oh, grief is tempting. But Solitude seems better. No endurance for you. We shall swing. Opponent takes it. Oh, opponent plays Scoos. So I can exile creature from graveyard. Rebirth for us. How nice. So I grieve. Look at their hand. Oh, but they will protect them. They draw, but we can't target. How about we swing out? Oh, and they concede. But we were about to play Rebirth. Yogmoth is supposed to be the deck with the highest win rate right now. And the fact that we were able to toss our salad like there's no tomorrow is a fabulous sign. And now we're on to the next tossing. Opening hand is worse than Chlamydia. We're going to mull. And this could be good. We'll keep. Oh, opponent's defense with falls. Sky play for us. Oh, and Ephemerate. That puts us in a stinky dinky position. Because we want to play Rebirth, but we have no other black card to pitch. So most tragically, we'll first play Grief. Oh, talk about stinky. We're getting a slam next turn no matter what. So at this point, I think it's best to keep our deck a secret and take it to game two. Going into game two, let's bring in this for this and ask him to. Opening hand doesn't do much. We'll mull. In a very similar hand, but at least we have Thoughtseize. We'll keep. Thoughtseize time. Oh boy. We'll take Blood Moon. Oh, and Grief. Free time. They drew the ring. Okay. How about we grab out first. A Femorite for us. Grab Borrower. And pray to the right source for them. A Femorite again. And everything's kind of a problem. They can Chartless next turn. Or ring in two turns. But that'll be more tough. We'll take Chartless. Land for us. Okay. They play with land and pass. Oh, and Shieldred. All we need is another land. Oh, and they have four lands. And they gain protection for a turn. Oh, but land for us. Time for Shieldred. And it even dodges hurry. Would our opponent like to draw here? They do. Good for them. 
them upon the floor, and they play very good for them. That means no attacking for us, and Solitude will take it. One land away, that's their opponent. They go down to three, if they can just survive this turn. And there's a concede. So we'll have to settle things in game three. Going into game three, now we know they have the rank. We'll bring back in Vandal, and that's going to three. Opening hand, oh boy. Not great at all, a mole. And oh my, what is this? An amazing hand, I see. We'll keep. I really want to play Rebirth, so that we can find Magistrate. So we'll grief, pitch, and grief. And look at their hand. And dang, they have subtlety. But no other blue card in hand. We'll take the removal. And their outburst. And then we'll pass. Opponent passes. We'll come right again. And clasping these flats with two rings in hand. I think it's fine if they keep them. We'll take subtlety. Salty for us, nice. We'll pass to them. We'll put another land for opponent. So another Rebirth. Number three. And say back to thee. Darn another land. There we ring. And Christ for us. Not ideal. Especially with Clashing Beast coming in more ways than one. We'll play Rice. Make a token. And why three tokens? Oh my gosh. Happy birthday to daddy. And let this wrong begin. They draw some more. Our opponent could play a second ring. But they might be considering Clashing Beast. They suspend two footfalls. Oh, and take out a grief, sure. Oh, an ephemerate. Two cards up on his hand. One's Clashing Beast. And one's another ring. We'll attempt to seal the deal. Swing for three. Evoke solitude. Play rush for birth. Finding shield With five creatures on our graveyard. Ultimate Christ. They go to three. And victory's ours. Oh my gosh, getting three and sex was so sick. And now beyond the next banking. Opening hands tough. Now turn two play. We're not gonna get any hoes keeping this hand. We're gonna mole. And yeah, I think we can get hoes with this. We'll keep. Fossies. Oh, and so go wide aggro deck. They can drop Memnite. And sack it to make three weenies. We'll take rebirth and pass. Oh, but no Memnite. Instead, they play throbbing inspector. So instead of Bowman. We'll go with the second posses. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another rebirth for them. Upon with this Epicure. And nuts out three weenies. But another Bowmaster for us. Let's well, just hope we can get them out fast enough. Upon with them knights. Ow, oh, Bushwhacker. Pumping all their hoes. So this is a problem. We'll put out Bowmasters. Go to three. And pass. Oh, locks it on. A so buff their board. Yep, they have us. So game two it is. Going into game two, swinging board wipe with that's game two. Oh, opening hand's pretty good. We just need one more land. And, and we can evoke solitude. That would mean pitching for a tender, but we'll take it. Up on my more tosser. And make three weenies. Darn, not a land. But it is something we can pitch with solitude. So we'll buy some time with four tender. And pass back. Up on draws. Oh, and passes. No, oh, it's not a land. This is so sad. And they draw again. Are you serious? Praise Jesus, we have a land. Now, logically, we will get Shieldred. But I really want Thalia. Evoke solitude. Exile token. And then rebirth. Finding Thalia. So the creatures and lands enter tapped. I can start advantage. I have dummy pick idea. Play bow masters. Hang their token. Swing with Thalia. And we'll sack our token. Land for us. Perfect. And realizing that they're no match for Thalia. Our pawn concedes. Okay, now that we've seen Thalia in action, we'll take out Thalia and bring in this one. That's going to be three. Oh, daddy like. We'll keep. Things are looking pretty good. And there we land for us. I kind of regret taking out Thalia. Because if we pitch Shieldred and be worth the solitude, we could get another grief. But Thalia would have been so cool. Grief time. No bone crusher for you. Ephemerate. No epicure for you. And good luck for opponent. Oh, opponent draws Epicure. They shock and play Memnite. We'll say no Ephemerate. Oh, opponent discards a draw. They probably think we have Bowmasters. I suppose we're gonna swing and just hope they drew something good. Swing of grief. But our opponent has big cocks and blocks. So how about after opponents are on? Evoke Solitude. Exile Throbbing Inspector. And we'll pray they don't have removal. Rebirth. That worked. Finding grief. Let's see what they drew. Oh, a way to buff the board. And no, no. Opponent draws and plays Ornithopter. Whatever shall we do. Land, meh. We'll draw. Another land. Sign for six. And opponent double blocks. How brave. They're down to one grief. Robbing a factor. And they draw. Come on, something good. Oh my gosh, the land. Alright, we'll swing. The opponent takes it. Oh, and then make three tokens. Now the clappy has become the clapper. Salty will take it. We'll have to wait a turn. No attacks for opponent. Oh, Max Vandal. I'd rather have Talia. Do we swing here? Probably not. But at some point, they might find an out. We'll flash and salty. Take out Robbing a factor. Oh, good. A land. Oh. And now push in. Open we'll blocks like that. Interesting. Do we hold Vandal? I think another threat would be better. But they have so many chompers, so it's a little awkward. Oh, and passes. Oh, and rush for birth. Please kill our grief. Oh, containment priest. And what? They block like this? You're supposed to double block the grief. No. Fine. Be that way. They got a two. A pump plays a two two. Oh, Skyclave apparition. Play Skyclave. Exile containment priest. And our opponent exclaims, stay away from my stinky hole. I wasn't sure we were going to win that one, but the magic gods were on our side. And now it's on to the next clapping. Opening hands close have been good. But no early plays. We'll mole. And one land, but we have the combo. The one swamp's not great, but we'll keep. The one passes. That's not a land. We'll toss these. And this is all quite 
troubling. We probably want to take Void Walker. Bowmasters is a problem. Oh, we can deal with it with our Bowmasters. But Void Walker it is. Bone passes. Oh, that's not land. There's Bowmasters. Now oh, please land for daddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have grief. That's not a thinky. If they try to reanimate though, like that. Wolf Oaks Hall food. Oh my gosh, it's still not a land. This next one has to be a land. I don't understand. If we can't draw a land here, daddy's gonna have to say a racial slur. <laughs> That was a Native American language for something racist. Oh, that's right, the game's still going. Oh, and good, they found our grief. Okay, where was our land at? Oh, there was a land. Oh, there's another land. Go on, game two is one of those for them, too. Oh, well, there's our land. Oh, no. And are those two swamps I see? The only two swamps in our deck we couldn't get a fetch land. Oh, oh and no fetch lands. Oh, play of planes. Thought two from opponents, sure. Play with bowmasters. And a fetch will take it. Opponent passes. Uh, sure. Bowmasters for opponents. We take two. And opponent plays table. Well, let's have clave. And we'll take out the table. Opponent swings and we'll take it. Oh, and good furry. How did this happen? Oh my gosh, we can't even and pitch anything. Oh, so bad. All we need is one card to match in colors. And they have Ravioli. How about we pretend this match never happened and move on to the next one? Opening hand could be good. We'll keep. Oh, I think we just lose. Oh, but grief combo. Evo grief. Take skewer. Oh, right, grief. Take their other skewer. And we'll pass. Opponent draws bobble. Okay. And gives us a land. Thank you. They love a spike. We shall ephemerate. And grab the crack. Not even if we'll take it. We'll pass. Opponent swings. And another land for us. We'll trade. Oh, and Boros Charm for four. We just need to survive until Shouldered. We'll play Gattaca Chomp and pass. Dang, another Boros Charm. They're getting in our cheeks real good. We'll drop Shouldered and pray no bolt. No, oh, all the spike they have us. The game two it is. Going into game two, we're going to move for a seven two. Opening hand, no combo. We'll mole. And this is pretty good. I can just get one more black card. We'll keep. We'll start with four tender. A bonus with Chandler. And two bobbles. That's pretty good. This is a bit risky. But evoke Reef. Ew, staring the ways. We'll then go reverse. Finding Christ, making a token. Will they choose to attack Christ? Or just go straight for us? Oh, opponent plays Golem Guide. And they say no for Christ. I just spend our Tolton Pass. But tragically for opponents, we'll swing. Sack our token. Take out Chandler. And place Quack Clave. No Golem Guide for them. They riffle us. So with the two Horizon lands, we might be able to race them. Oh, Whirling Vortex. We definitely don't want to evoke anything. And I can shut off Life Gain. Reverse pretty good. We'll swing. Make a token. Then we'll pass. Oh, opponent passes. We take one and upkeep. Land. We'll push in. Ooh, and Boros Charm. That would put us a three. We'll take that risk. Token for us. Opponent goes one. And we take game two. Game three, no change the sideboard. And opening hands a little rough. We'll try it. Oh, and another Horizon Land for them. And Goblin Guide. Path of Peril for us. And a second Horizon Land. Even though they tell our Path of Peril. How interesting. They just went Ripple and Pass. Another land. Do we play Bowmasters? We'll decide on their turn. How big will Monastery get? Probably not as big as my uncle. So we have to buy some time. We'll ping them, and then chomp. We'll go for peril. No creatures for you. Oh, is our work out? We might be able to save some life. Oh, Chandler. And Bobble. Two cards in our hand, and oh, grief. That's a really tough one. Shielder is kind of our way out, so if we pit Shieldred, we're probably clapped. But if we shock here and go down to six, Chandler makes three. We might just be clapped no matter what. Well, we'll say I'll lock bar. Play Shieldred. And Skullcrack. Yep, they have us. Very tragic. But that's how it goes sometimes. So what did we learn? We learned that Shieldred is pretty good. But dealing with everything the metagame throws at us feels like an impossible task. But for half the more children's, we can give our opponents a good clapping. But that is all for now. Let me know what you big wishing to the deck and how we might improve it. And until next time, see you in thick.